Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to do my makeup for my wedding anniversary. We are going to celebrate 10 years of marriage. I don't know how that happened. I just don't want to miss any opportunity to have fun anymore. I used to just always reject whatever invitation for a party or for, you know, just drinks out with friends because I would always be either busy working or I would just prefer to sleep. <laughs> but this year for me, and the year I've said this before, my year starts in September. For this year, I plan to not necessarily like go on a club and dance on the tables, but just, you know, accept a little bit more going out and celebrate a little bit more. This year, also because it's 10 years, I decided to do something special with my husband. So we're gonna go see a play and then we're gonna go have dinner at La Perouse. It's an iconic restaurant in Paris. So I've doled myself up. This is the look that I'm going to be wearing. Throughout the video, I'm going to show you the clothes I'm gonna be wearing. So if you wanna see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. We're gonna try this new foundation from Huda Beauty, the new Easy Blur. It's gonna be the first time I'm trying this foundation. I know I probably shouldn't be using this today because I really wanna look flawless, but I really trust this foundation because I've seen how people truly love it. Some uh, influencers that I trust, like I saw Katie Jane Hughes talking about it. And you know, she doesn't like a heavy foundation and for today's look, I'm I'm really trying to keep it super minimal for my skin. I'm going to start with their Easy Blur Primer. Okay, this is like a typical silicone primer, or so it feels. Yeah, the one that really blurs the pores. So with this type of product, I really like to sort of press it into the skin wherever I have big pores. And for me, it's mostly the center of the face. My husband loves this hair on me. When I was wearing it a couple of times, he complimented me all the time. He's like, oh, your hair looks so good. <laughs> so now I'm like, I want those compliments again. I mean, it's nice when all of you guys send me all these beautiful words, compliment me, but you know, when it comes from your husband is different. Now let's try the foundation. Okay, off the camera, I was trying every single color. Maybe you're curious to see what colors I received because I received this foundation. I did not buy it. This is Chai. And it, you'll see, I think that this is the closest one to my skin. This one is Macaroon. No, I think it's fine. <laughs> now that I look at myself in the mirror, I was like, no. It's a little peachy. I don't know if you can tell that this is a little bit pinch too peachy on me. Yeah, definitely. I know it doesn't make any sense. I'm a white girl with olive skin tone. It's very common in Eastern Europe to be looking a little bit sick all the time, especially in winter. It's a gift. <laughs> okay, and this the third one is is which one? Custard. The third one is custard. And you would think that I'm custard but I'm, I promise you this is too dark for me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to mix custard with chai because I cannot, I don't wanna be either too yellow or too light. I'm gonna mix them, sorry. Don't hate me, I know you guys hate it when I mix shades, but I just have to. Okay, so a little bit of chai and a little bit of custard. This is, it's creamy, it's not too, I mean, it's a liquid, Oh God, no, it feels super creamy, huh? Super, super creamy. I've probably applied it way too much here. Okay. Do you see how? Let's do this the way Huda did it, which is like half of the face. That's normally what I do. I'm taking this brush from Huda Beauty. It came in the PR package. So normally I don't like to apply my uh, foundation under the eyes, but I'm going to apply it just for you guys to see how much it covers, okay?
trying to figure out to what other product I could compare this with. It's very similar with Glass Skin Foundation from Swede, but Swede has a lot, it's a lot more hydrating. This is a bit more matte. Yeah, a lot more matte, but in a good way matte, not like a matte, like drying. No, 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 like good way matte. Let's apply a little bit more where I have the melasma. No foundation. Foundation, listen, I have applied a very thin layer because I did not know what to expect. So super, super thin layer. First impression, super pretty. I like it a lot. So it has this blurring effect on the skin. I'm not sure if it's thanks to this as well. For sure, this has something to do with it. But listen, this is really nice. Okay, this is going to dry if I keep talking. Let me apply it on the other side. Foundation done. I'm going to apply concealer and I'm going to use the Hourglass Concealer in Silk because it kind of lasts the best on me. You know, I love Makeup by Mario. I love House Labs Concealer, but this one stays the longest. I'll just take this Spectrum and Katie brush. I don't like to apply concealer on my mobile lid. Just sometimes I would apply like just what's left. I like to apply concealer though on my brow bone right here. I feel like that's nice, but I kind of like the color of my eyelids. It feels like I have a little bit of product there. I can't believe I've been married for 10 years. If you guys want to see my wedding video, I'm going to link it here. Oh my God, so young. So skinny. Next, I'm gonna apply this Makeup by Mario Bronzing and Shaping Serum. This is great on its own as well, like especially if you don't have melasma. If you have melasma like me in this area, obviously this is kind of gonna emphasize the melasma, which is not great, but I adore this product. It's so nice and light and dreamy. And I love how it blends, but look how beautiful this is. Next is blush, and my dress is like this very, very light pink. It's a similar pink, but lighter. I'm actually going to put a picture here with my dress. And I'm going to use this YSL blush. This is so long lasting. It has so much pigment also. I want to say that I would much rather you apply this on the back of your hand, saturate your brush with it, and then get on the skin. If you feel like it's too much from the first touch, just go on the other cheek. So you kind of distribute the product evenly. Oh, so pretty, this color. We're going to this restaurant, La Perouse. And believe it or not, we've never been to this, although it's an iconic restaurant in Paris. We were supposed to live on the last floor in that building many years ago, like three, four years ago, when we were looking for an apartment. We found one apartment right there in that building with La Perouse, and it had like really good price, and we went to see it. And then when we got inside, we realized why. <laughs> It had a good price. It was just devastated. It had mold. I don't understand how people in France can get away with uh, stuff like that. Okay, guys. Next, I'm going to set it with powder. This is Huda Beauty in Cupcake. I took it with a Refer 16 brush. So normally, if I want my powder to be really invisible, I can apply it with a blending brush. Just a tiny little bit. So most of the powder will be, you know, to set the concealer, but then I will also... Do, can you tell that this foundation doesn't really need a lot of powder? Like, yes, I did powder a little bit here and there, but it doesn't... I feel like it doesn't need a lot of powder. Next, I'll do my eyebrows. I'll use this Merit pencil. This is a gel pencil. If you have a heavy hand, maybe this is not your product because, as you can see, I barely touch the skin and it's like immediately showing. 
I really love this pencil because it's just so thin. So you can do those very light, hair-like strokes. So I know that a lot of people love when the eyebrows are like arched. On my face, it looks so severe, so bad. So I try to diminish this arch always. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but basically I think that with age also that sh that looks just harsh on, on us. Then I'll use this got to be gel to discipline my eyebrows. I think this is my favorite gel. I like it more than everything else, simply because it doesn't feel, you know, when you, when you take your makeup off with certain gels, it just feels weird. Next, I'm so excited to show you guys these cream eyeshadows from Lisa Eldridge. So on September 1st or September 2nd, September 2nd, I received the package. I was so happy about the fact that I was new. I was about to post these and I was, you know, amongst the first people to post about these because I'm usually so late when it comes to new products. And I posted and I showed you guys the swatches and everything, which by the way, I'm going to add in this video. And Lisa messaged me, she's like, just so you know, we did not launch it yet. It's going to be available on September 5th. I died. I was so embarrassed. And mostly because I did not want her to feel that I did this on purpose. It was just an innocent mistake. So I hope she will forgive me. Okay, what color do I want to use? Ah, I know. I've used this one before and I really liked it. Irene. Irene is this nice peachy shade. The other lighter version is a little bit too pink for me, like a cooler pink. This is a warmer shade and I guess that's why I like it. So you know she has the Lurex eyeshadow, cream eyeshadows, and then these are satin. So they're matte but with a satin finish. I love them so 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 much. Now I'm going to take a classic eye pencil. Now the difference between this and a gel pencil, do you see how small this is? I love this. This can give you a lot of time to play with. So I've talked about this before in the past. When you're using a gel pencil or gel products, it really doesn't give you any time to play. So that will frustrate those of you who are more slow or working a little bit more slow. So now I sketch a little wing. I don't want this to be uh, perfect because I'm, I'm trying to smoke it out. So the best way I would say is to always use a classic pencil first. Westman Atelier has it. Charlotte Tilbury, obviously I'm using it right now, has it. I look straight in the mirror and then I do the flick. I find first the right position of the flick. I look straight at you, I think you will see it better, right? Because my eyes are deep set, this wing is going to look different depending on the angle. Then I'm taking this eyeshadow palette from Nabla. Actually, you can create these. You can buy these uh, empty and then put whatever eyeshadows you want. I'm going to use, this is black. I'm going to use black just on top of the pencil, but listen, you need to be really careful with black because if it falls on the lower lashes, that's it. You need to wipe it off with makeup remover and start it basically kind of start it all over. If you're trying to like cover it with concealer or anything, it's going to get gray. So no, you don't want that. It looks weird because my eyes are, you know, I have deep set eyes. So when you have deep set eyes, your wing is not nice and straight like it is with other people who don't have deep set eyes. So if you're looking at me and like, oh, but it's not, it's, it, it's not nice and smooth. I have to do it like this because basically it needs to look good when my eyes are open, when I'm smiling, when I'm looking at you like this, not, not when I do this, right? Because 
how many seconds I'm in this position. Next, I'm going to use this palette from Lisa Eldridge. This is so pretty. This is in Fawn, and I'm gonna take this eyeshadow right here with a touch of this, just a little bit, and just get it at the end. I know I'm not doing any rocket science in terms of makeup. Whenever I have something personal where I know I need to look good, I just go with a safe version, you know, because I know that looks good on me. That's something that I love. So normally this type of uh, eyeshadow, I would apply it in the crease, but I feel like now my, my eyes are so deep in my head and that this crease is just so obvious that I don't need any eyeshadow there. So basically I just use a little bit here to lift the corner of the eye make it a little bit more sultry but i'm not gonna apply anything here right because it's already like so here's how i look like it when i'm straight you know what i mean like it the, the shadow is horrific is there anything we could do we can even do to our eyes um to like diminish that i don't think so i'm gonna take this lighter eyeshadow from the palette. Get it on the inner corner like so. Just a little jewelry. I don't like this on everyone, but because my eyes are pretty close, I think that it suits me. It's like in my own advantage, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna apply mascara, but I do plan to apply lashes. Mascara over curl from Dior. Okay, now I'm going to apply lashes and these are Lashify. And I'm only going to apply them at the, ooh, at the end of my eye, just to lift the eye a little bit. And listen, normally you're not supposed to apply these like the way I'm going to apply them now. Honestly, it's a whole system. But since I don't want these to last on me, I'm going to take my makeup off in a few hours. I don't really care, you know? Lashes are on, so basically applied two lashes, different length. Now I need to apply mascara on the lower lashes, because else it's going to look weird. Now lips are going to be nothing groundbreaking, or maybe, let me figure out which one of these. These are the, my most used lip liners. I always tend to go with uh, Smoky Pink from Makeup by Mario. I really like that shade on me. If I could only find it. Smoky pink. Found it, just need to sharpen it really quick. Love this. <laughs> Love this sharpener. This is from Persona Cosmetics. You guys, it's such a good sharpener. It's such a good sharpener. If you're looking for one, get this one from Persona. Okay, I'm going to overline. You know the drill, just a cupid's bow. For the lipstick, I'm actually going to use one that is in this palette. So I've depotted these lipsticks for my makeup kit. And then on the back, there is the name of the lipsticks. And I'm going to use Pillow Talk Fair. This one right here. This one right here. I think it's appropriate for this look. And I'm going to take it with a spatula. So I took it on the brush. Wow, the color is gorgeous. I tried, I promise you, I tried Pillow Talk Fair and it was just too cool tone, too light for me. But I think that with the lip liner, it makes the whole difference. I mean, I should know better. I am so surprised of, of how good this lipstick is with the lip liner. However, you know, I, I think it's a bit dry, everything. It needs moisture. So I'm going to apply this lip gloss. Uh, this is Prisma something from Giorgio Armani. It's fantastic, this lip gloss. At this 
moment, it's my favorite uh, lip gloss. Just the way it feels on me, it's like, wow. Okay. All right, what else do we need? I think that we need a tiny little bit of bronzing powder. I know this is not very nice of me to show it to you like this, but I unfortunately don't have a double product for the Hourglass Ambient Palette. I have depotted this spring everything on my most used makeup and for some of them I do have a double, meaning I have the original product in the studio, but for some of them I don't and for the Hourglass I don't. These three right here are the Ambient Palette. This is the one that I use the most. And I'm going to mix basically these two. I adore to use this on clients. It's like just my favorite thing. It gives you that, because sometimes bronzers, they're a bit too matte and a little bit like too serious. And this is like just a little bit of color, you know, just a little bit of warmth with a little bit of sheen to it, which is nice. I sometimes hate the very matte powders. Okay, just a little bit of powder to give me this sheen, you see? It's like very nice glow on the skin. This highlighter is so pretty. I kind of forgot about this because uh, I had it in my makeup kit. And listen, this is one product that I did not depot because it's just so pretty. I like the packaging from um, Westman Atelier so, so much. I think half of, you know, their products is also the packaging. I took this with my finger and then I just dab it on the cheek. So, you know, when you turn, it has this very nice shimmer effect. It doesn't have to be too much, but, you know, a little here and there. Now I'm going to spray everything. I rarely use setting spray because honestly, I rarely need to have my makeup last for very long. I stocked up. I have four of them, big ones. I hope they're going to be enough this year because <laughs> I use them a lot for fashion week. Now, if you want your makeup not to budge, you're going to apply this. It also gives you like this, like almost like your face had a facelift effect. It's really fantastic and your makeup will not move. I promise. However, if you have dry skin, I wouldn't even touch your skin with this. All right, guys, and this is the final look. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, everything will be found in the description uh, down below along with my earrings. They're from Cinco. This is an old top from uh, Eero. I will link my dress for those of you interested. I bought the, I bought it when it was sale. I don't know if now it's on sale or not, but I love that dress. I just wanted to give you a few words about marriage, although I know that I'm not just the right person to talk about relationships, but I know they're mostly females uh, following me and I have a lot of single women around me. And I know that we have all fantasized at some point at, you know, the marriage and like being wives and having the family but in fact it is so so hard I have no clue how I got to my 10 year and I take one year at a time and just I'm very grateful for each year that I have where I'm in a couple and I'm happy I just want you to know that it's just not easy and whenever we see couples on social media they're like kissing and like making it look like oh my god they they just like they just go so well together it's usually just that brief moment, you know, you, you have no idea what happens. So basically what I'm trying to say is just don't believe everything you see on social media. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me if you would just click on the subscribe button and the ring bell button so you'll be notified whenever I'm posting new videos. And you know the drill, show me some love on Instagram and TikTok. I'm present there, like very present on both platforms. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you follow me there as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.